For me, the single most craveable dish probably in the world, for me personally, is something the French call a croque monsieur. Croque monsieur translates to Mr. Crunchy. <laughs> and if you uh, uh, make a croque monsieur and you put an egg on top of it, it's a croque madame, which means Mrs. Crunchy. Essentially, it is an incredibly robust and delicious and craveable ham and cheese sandwich with an egg on it. So we're gonna break this down into uh, three parts. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our bechamel. Now, bechamel is a starch thickened sauce. Very simple, the butter, the flour, the milk. That's all that we actually have to have to make a bechamel, okay? I prefer to use weight over volume because scales typically do not lie. 30 grams is just about exactly what I'm uh, looking for, okay? Way out the same amount, 30 grams of all-purpose flour. Now, first thing we're going to do, is put this pan over medium low heat. The butter's gonna start to smell a little nutty, that's okay. I've got some foam sitting on top, but there's not a whole lot of bubbling left going on. So, flour goes in, it's gonna foam, that's fine, and I just want you to whisk. Now at first, this is gonna look like a really rough paste, but as the starch begins to cook, it's gonna smooth out. I'm gonna grate my nutmeg right in. Never use pre-ground nutmeg. This is a whole nutmeg. You can grate it off, use it a little at a time. This thing will last approximately 20 years, okay? Now is the time that I would add my salt. And no, I'm not measuring it. A little bit of pepper, and now I can add the milk. Understand that the pan's very hot. This is gonna hiss and sizzle a little bit. Don't add it all at once. Whole fat milk, do not use skim milk in your roux, please. I am going to add two teaspoons of fresh thyme. The best way to do this is to grasp the butt end, the very, very tender end, and then slowly just kind of strip off the leaves like that. Keep whisking as we distribute now those fat-coated flour particles. This has got to come almost to a boil, okay? It doesn't have to do it quickly. Okay, I like the way that looks. Let's turn it off. Tear off a piece of foil and lightly cover that. Yeah, just lightly. Yeah, perfect, we're gonna set that aside. Sauce for the sandwich is done, mm -hmm. okay? We're done, we're finished with that. So, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a sandwich. Now, spread about um, half a teaspoon of this whole grain mustard on each one of those pieces. I just don't want gobs of it. A nice coverage, but not too much. So, I've got about eight ounces total here. I'm gonna use an English Black Forest ham. I know a ham sandwich, you'd use a whole piece, but I think the sandwich is a lot easier to bite if the uh, ham is cut into pieces. Cheese, Gruyere. I am a big fan of an herb mixture called Herb de Provence, and I am going to add some directly into the cheese. By mixing it in with the cheese, I'm actually gonna be able to get one, even distribution of flavor, and two, use the fat of the cheese to protect the herbs a little bit. Mm. We are going to broil these sandwiches. The broiler will have two settings, high and low. I've got no patience for low, so you will set your ovens to high. Now, we've got our broiler heating up. The broiler is gonna melt the cheese and create crunch. Baking wouldn't do that. Baking is mostly convective heat moving through the oven. We're getting direct heat. Okay, now start distributing the cheese over this and don't be neat about it. I wanna see cheese coming out all around the edges. All right, go stick that under the broiler. The croque monsieur, the Mr. Crunchy, gets no egg. The croque madame does. I like the croque madame because I like a fried egg with a runny yolk. All right, I'm, I'm looking for medium heat, medium heat, medium heat. Do not fry eggs in high heat. If you do, the whites are gonna burn before the yolks are done, okay? I do not use butter for eggs. Olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. One egg. The second egg goes in. A liberal sprinkling of salt. Lid. Two minutes, please. I'm gonna go check on uh, Mr. Crunchy. Yum, right? Cheese is melted, has run off the sandwich, and is browning on the edges like this, okay? Now, they're a little done more than I'd like. I'm gonna flip them over and count to 10. Eight, nine, 10. And flipping onto the sandwich. Here we go. You guys can uh, eat the Mr. Uh, the Mrs. Crunchy as well as the Mr. Crunchy. You can grab those off the end. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for uh, brownness on the cheese, crunchiness up on the sides. 
by cutting up the ham, by putting the ham, the bechamel, then the cheese. The cheese helps to hold the bechamel. It's relatively easy to eat. Good luck. Bon chance.